Hey friends, it's Andrew from the vlog Pine and Prospect Home, and this is our second snow day in a row. My husband works at the local school here in our town, and so he has been home now for two days with all the snow that we've gotten, and there's just nothing like a cozy snow day. And this morning I woke up and just had this desire to bake <laughs> for him. And one thing that he really, really loves, he's been working very hard for me lately with our floors and just all the painting we've been doing and putting the house back together. And one thing that he really loves more than anything else is homemade bread. It's his favorite thing and it brings me so much joy to make it for him. And um, I've made bread so many times for my husband, all different kinds of breads. But today I'm trying something new. I'm going to be making a Kamut Italian bread. And um, I have been experimenting a lot with Kamut flour lately. In fact, um, I just got a pretty large shipment of Kamut from a company that I wanna share with you guys called Country Life Natural Foods. Country Life Natural Foods is one of America's oldest wholesale and resale dis distributors of natural and organic plant-based foods. They're actually rooted right here in Southwest Michigan, which I thought was so neat to be able to support another um, company that's right here from my home state. They have recently rebranded and um, their packaging is absolutely beautiful. They recently sent a package with some cashews and um, this maple pecan granola, which is delicious, some chickpeas and dates. And um, in their box, they sent along a recipe book and a catalog. And one of the things that I specifically requested was actually some Kamut wheat berries. Now, if you have been following me for some time, you know that I have a sensitivity to gluten. If you have celiac disease, you cannot have Kamut. But um, if you are gluten uh, intolerant, you may be able to handle Kamut. And I'll link an article for you guys down below. Um, this is something I have to be very careful with. I'm trying to just take in um, very small amounts of it and so far it just hasn't bothered me at all but i know that um, i need to be very careful and this is something that i would actually like to explore further and maybe even get tested for but um kamut is very different it's an ancient grain it's very different than modern day wheat um and i'm not going to get into the science behind this but basically our modern day wheat has been modified so much so that it's just wreaking havoc on our guts um, a lot of people can no longer tolerate grains and so um, many people are seeking out more ancient grains kamut being one of them and again i'll put some articles down below so you can do some research yourself but I am milling my own Kamut flour today. I have had so much fun. In fact, last week's video, you guys saw my pretzels. That um, Those pretzels were made from fresh Kamut flour that I milled myself along with um, some homemade biscuits and we've made brownies and just all kinds of things. So we've been really having a lot of fun experimenting with this flour. And um, it's been so much fun using my new Nutramil. Um, this Nutramil was gifted to me uh, from the company, full disclosure, but it's just been such an awesome lesson for my boys to be able to see where flour comes from. Flour doesn't just show up on the shelf of your grocery store. It has to be milled, and it's just neat for my boys to be able to see this process. This Nutramil has been amazing. There are so many health benefits to milling your own flour. Fresh flour has more nutrients, minerals, vitamins, and I'm gonna put a link below for you if you'd like to check out my Nutramil that I have and why milling your own flour is so good for you. So I'll put links to those as well. But Moving on, uh, the very first thing I did after milling my own flour early this morning in my robe, I came downstairs and just, um, I milled a lot of flour and then I got started on some Kamut Italian bread. Now this is my first time, like I said, making this bread. So this is all new for me. I've made loaves like this with traditional flour several times but this was my first time working with this flour. And I'm excited to see how this bread turns out. My plan for this bread is to make some French toast 
and also I'm going to cook up some bacon and we can use the bread later tonight for BLTs which I thought would be super yummy as well. A lot of you were asking about my pretzel recipe from last week and I actually got it from this Kamut cookbook. It's by the Food Nanny. I ordered this a while ago actually and I'm just now that I have my Kamut berries I'm just now kind of playing with a lot of her recipes and so far none of them have um, disappointed. So um, I will link this book for you. It's been a lot of fun trying all of her Kamut recipes and that's one thing that I would suggest is if you are going to switch out flowers it's probably wise to use uh, a recipe designated for that specific type of flour. Otherwise, it might not be a cup for cup ratio. Um, on this cozy snow day, uh, we are baking bread and I just thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me and show you the process. The snow is still coming down outside and uh, my boys, what's special about this video is that my boys actually spent the night at my sister's last night with their cousins. So they had a sleepover. So this was just a quiet morning. My husband took the baby, a quiet morning of baking for me in the kitchen. And it was so enjoyable. And um, I hope you guys enjoy coming along with me as I bake today.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed baking with me today and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.